back to my channel. It's Christina at Homeschool and Grace. And today's video is our curriculum pick for my seventh grader. So she will be doing uh, My Father's World 1850 to Modern Times. And so I thought today I'd share with you everything I have for her. Now, you may find these next few videos that are curriculum picks, there's some redundancy because uh, we're in the family cycle. And so my three oldest will be doing the family cycle together. But I do want to share with you, like, there, there are differences in each of them, but they're slight or a little bit, you'll see that they are, they each are a little different. <laughs> so, so let's hop in to the curriculum that she will be using. Now, this is the last book in the family cycle for My Father's World. So after this, I think she'll do one more year of the family cycle and then go on to col uh, not college. Oh my, high school. So I will be showing you through Bible history. Let me open the book so I know what all I'm saying. Bible history, science, art and music, the read alouds, language arts. And I think that's it. So let's dive into this. Okay, so to start out with, you, I get my teacher's manual and it looks like it's laid out pretty much the same as all the other ones. So it's the same grid that we'll be using for her. And it doesn't look like it shows the seventh and eighth grade supplements or differences. So, but I think that will be in here. Okay. So with it is the student sheets. So it's not as thick as some of them are, but there's still quite a few. So it looks like we'll be continuing. She'll be continuing to learn about the states. There's a periodic table. She'll be learning the Star Spangled Banner, more Bible verses. There's games. So lots of fun stuff in here. So for Bible, we will be going through this Bible study, uh, Patricia St. John, A Young Person's Guide to Knowing God, and then Tales of Persia. These are missionary stories from Islamic Iran. So those are two she'll be doing. She also, well, all together we'll be doing Then Sings My Soul Still. This is um, hymns, hymn, um, 150 of the world's greatest hymn stories. So this is a really great book to add. It goes through lots of different hymns and then it talks about it and like the history of it. We'll also be doing more Trial and Triumph stories. This is also a great book by Richard Hanula. It's out of Canon Press. So this is a really great addition as well. Next is In God We Trust. I think this is, okay, the creators are Timothy Crater and Renelda Hunsicker. I think that's how you say it. Okay, and this has been published by My Father's World. So this is another great book about um, stories of the faith in American history. Oh, a great one. Okay, we're going to move on to history. So we've gone through Bible so far. So for history, states and capital songs. So this is a CD and then there's, I'm not sure if she'll be labeling all this. I'm not sure how it goes or if it's numbered for the song. So this will be part of history. It also came with the United States map and then the world map. She'll be using that for history. The story of the world, volume four. I, we've really enjoyed story of the world the last, I think it's two years we've um, taught through it, maybe. Yeah, two years, and this will be the third year. So we really like this one. And also that comes with that oh, is the Story of the World activity book. This is huge, but there's always great questions in here and maps and pictures to use. So we really like it to add to history. Okay, so this will be... The timeline book that we'll be using, Creation to Modern Times. And so all the girls will probably work together to fill this in, I think. Otherwise, it will just be my seventh grader. So you'll notice a lot of this will be, um, since it's part of the family cycle, they'll be doing this together. So a lot of these books, these history books, they'll be with my older three. The next book for history is American History, a Visual Encyclopedia. This is from the Smithsonian. This is a really cool, kind of like a textbook picture encyclo encyclopedia to use. Also, we'll be doing America's Favorite Patriotic Songs. 
let's see, America the Beautiful, God Bless America, God Save America, there's a bunch of them. So this will be a fun one to add. The U.S. History Cookbook, they're super excited to use this, <laughs> especially my oldest. She, they're all really getting into cooking more, so this will be fun for her to try out some recipes in. Okay, so that was for Bible, now, or for history, I'm sorry. So now we're going to move on to science. Now she has a different science. She's going to be doing science in the atomic age. And here is the answer key and test that come along with it. And also with that is science in the atomic age. This is the daily lesson plan. So like I had said in the teacher's manual, it didn't seem to show up because it's separate, which will be good because um, she will be working on this probably by herself this year. I saw on Rainbow Resource, you can get the um, audio book of this. So um, in like a USB, I think. And so I'm going to have her use that to um, so she can listen as well as read along. I think sometimes hearing someone else and reading along can help with um, comprehension. Okay, what's next? Read aloud. So our read alouds will be Courage to Run, and she will be a part of the read alouds. So Courage to Run, Across Five Aprils, Hudson Taylor, Sergeant York, Corey Tenboom, Brother Andrew. So those will be our read alouds for this year. Okay, for music and art, we'll be doing the stories of Foster and Sousa. Sousa? Sousa? I think it's Sousa. The best of George Gershwin. And Sousa de Sachmo. So those will be for music. Now for art, we will be doing, she'll be continuing to do God in the History of Art. This will be the third or fourth year she will be, she will have been working through this. So we enjoy that one. Okay, I missed a few things to go along with her history still. So we're also going to be using this that we used um, this last year in Exploration to 1850. So the last 500 years, Exploring American History. And there's those student sheets I missed. Okay, so that is Bible, History, Science, Read Alouds, Music and Art, and then, oh, I missed one more. She will also be using her U.S. President cards that came with it. Okay, so she'll also be doing, for Language Arts, two literature gar cards, two literature guides from Progeny Press. The first one is Anna Green Gables. And the next one is The Witch of Blackbird Pond. So she did just read this one this year, so she's not thrilled about doing it, but I talked with My Father's World and they recommended um, the first one that she does is a book that she's already read. It will help with understanding the questions um, to then go into the next one that she has not read yet. So I think she'll be able to get through it quick. Okay, next is for spelling. She'll be doing spelling power still. Um, like I said, we've never been the best at spelling power. Or I shouldn't say not the best at it. We're not always super consistent. Seems to be one I drop. I end up dropping spelling. I probably shouldn't be. So we'll be, we're going to be picking this back up. Okay, next is she'll be doing writing with skills. This is also by the gal who did... Story of the World, Susan Wise Bauer. So I'm excited for her to do this. Again, this is more independent and I love how like she's slowly building on the independence in school with these kind of curriculums. And here is the instructor's text. But I've read through some of the student sheets or student workbook and it's a lot they've got to do on their own before they come to the teacher. We also got her a thesaurus that she'll be using this year as well in her language arts. And lastly, applications of grammar. She'll be doing basics for communicating effectively. 
we go. That's the better side. These, this is the answer key. This is from Christian Liberty Press. Um, I haven't heard anything about this, so it's going to be fun to explore it and see what it's all about. Same with writing skills. I, I've never heard of this from um, The Well-Trained Mind. So if you have used these, let me know what you think of them. Now let me double check and make sure I got everything. Okay, so math I'll be doing a separate video on. And I think that is it. So that was our curriculum pick for 2022-2023 school year for uh, my oldest, who is going into seventh grade. And it's uh, the main curriculum we'll be using, or our core curriculum, I should say, is My Father's World, 1850 to Modern Time. So this has been our, this will be our, let me see, our seventh year homeschooling. And if you're new here, I have five daughters. And so this is a really exciting year to continue homeschooling with them and just seeing them grow and learn and all these new things. And we have been using My Father's World from the beginning. I used their preschool program with my um, second daughter when we first started homeschooling and we just fell in love and we still love it today. So there you go. So if you like this channel, here are some others to go and check out and I hope to see you at the next video. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.